的话，跟着我一起念，在心里面念也可以。Taiwanese filmmaker Kevin Ko's slow burn horror film Incantation has touted itself as the scariest Taiwanese film ever made. Inspired by a true story involving a family of cult worshippers in Gaoshang, Taiwan, the film has been shot in a mockumentary style, interspersed with found footage and actors breaking the fourth wall to address the audience. Incantation follows Lee Ronan, who awakened a curse six years ago after breaking a religious taboo and disrupting a powerful and eerie shrine. <laughs> Shortly after regaining custody of her daughter, the curse comes rearing back. This time, targeting the young child with a fury. The film showcases the attempts of Ronan to lift the curse and save her daughter. It references classic Asian horror that features life-threatening videotapes as well as cursed and forbidden places. Incantation indulges on manipulating and deceiving the viewer's cognition as it twists and transforms benediction into damnation and exorcism into conjuration. In this video, we will decode the ending of this horror film, along with other major events that shape up the brilliantly terrifying ending. Needless to say, but massive spoilers ahead. Before we decode what happens towards the end of the film and whether Lee Ronan was successful in freeing Dodo from the curse, we need to understand the origin of the curse that Ronan violated six years ago. Six years ago, Ronan was a part of a paranormal investigation trio of Ghostbusters with her boyfriend Dom and Dom's cousin Yuan. They were going to the remote village of the Chen clan, the relatives of Dom and Yuan, to investigate a mysterious tunnel that casts misfortune upon anyone who passes through it. On the way, their car is stopped by a statue of Mother Buddha. Dom reveals that the clan practiced an esoteric Yunnan religion worshiping a deity called Mother Buddha. 那你说古宫他们拜是拜什么？佛母、仙家什么之类的。佛母，女道。When they arrived at the village, Dom's uncle told Ronan to return as she couldn't take part in the rituals. 可能我电话中吼讲啊无真清楚，这是咱家族内底家己在拜拜。古啊人吼，可能较无方便。When Yuan introduces her as Dom's girlfriend. They reluctantly let the outsider Ronan into their village. The trio was told to submit their names with the incantation to Mother Buddha. The clan elder then told them that they must return every ten years to pray to Mother Buddha after offering their name. The clan elder then informed Ronan that she was pregnant and that after her daughter was born, she must also do the same. <laughs> Ronan was surprised as she had not realized at the time that she was pregnant. That night, the three of them snuck out and spied on the clan performing the ritual. The members of the clan were worshiping together, doing an incantation and making a unique hand gesture. They met a young girl on their way out who was present during the ritual. This girl took Ronan inside and asked Dom and Yuan to stay outside. You can't enter. Why can't you enter? Why can't you enter? Upon entering the room, Ronan notices blood dripping from the ceiling. When Ronan inquires about her wounded ear, the girl informs her that she was the chosen one, and Mother Buddha took her flesh to give blessings to everyone. 因为我是神明选的人，所以佛母拿走我的肉，去保佑大家。Despite the clan's warning, Yuan is determined to go inside the forbidden tunnel to capture the inside space on camera. Ronan, after having vomited, feels her health deteriorating. Once they reach the tunnel, they see the young girl they met earlier in front of the tunnel, as if prepared for a sacrifice. She lay unconscious, and her body was covered in runes. 
Ronan waited with the unconscious girl while Dom and Yuan entered the tunnel after destroying its barricades. Strange noises were coming from the inside of the tunnel as if there were some children trapped in the interior. After a while, Yuan emerged from the tunnel screaming and shouting for help. Dom seemed to have died inside the tunnel, and the village people carried his body out. Ronan came across several village people who had the incantation inscribed on their bodies. Yuan then became possessed and tried to attack her before finally taking his own life. Ronan managed to escape from the chaos with the webcam that captured what happened inside the tunnel. When Ronan came back home, she tried showing the footage to other people, but whoever saw it died instantly. She knew that she had been cursed by the Mother Buddha and had to find a way not to let it pass onto her daughter. After Dodo was born, Ronan left her at a foster care home and sought psychiatric help. In the present timeline, Dodo is troubled by the same taboo that Ronan violated, and in order to save her daughter, she tries to do everything she can. But when Ronan goes to sell the property she lived in before, Dodo is led by a presence to enter the room where all the mystifying Buddha statues are kept and watches the footage of the sacred tunnel that awakened the curse. Ronan is horrified when she finds her daughter watching the footage, aware of the dangerous ramifications it poses. She leaves the premises quickly, but on her way back, Dodo experiences a partial paralysis that the doctors diagnose as brain-induced hemiparesis. While at the hospital, a social worker informs Ronan that the court has revoked her custody rights. Ronan tries to escape with Dodo before social workers arrive to take her daughter away. She escapes with the help of Ming, the sympathetic owner of the foster home where Dodo grew up, whom Dodo calls Daddy. After escaping the social workers, Ronan and Dodo head toward a shrine to lift the curse. While there, the priest Mr. Ching and his wife Madam Ching perform cleansing rituals on the webcam that stores the footage of the tunnel, and later agree to risk their lives to perform an exorcism on Dodo. They forbid Dodo from eating anything for the next seven days, to which Ronan reluctantly agrees. But when Dodo's condition deteriorates, Ronan violates Dodo's fast by feeding her a pineapple. When Ronan realizes the adverse effect of breaking the fast, she makes Dodo vomit the pineapple. But along with it comes a maggot, which makes her realize that she has failed to complete the exorcism. Ronan rushes Dodo back to the shrine, only to find Mr. Ching dead while Madam Ching becomes possessed and takes her own life. Dodo is then found floating in the ceiling before falling back down to the floor. In the meantime, Ming researches into the Chen clan's religion and gets the damaged Ghostbusters footage of the tunnel from the night six years ago restored. When he dwells more on understanding the footage, his health keeps on deteriorating. But he is persistent and finds a twisted text on a scroll in the footage. He flies to Yunnan to find a tantric Buddhist monk who was one of the last people who could translate ancient Brahmic scriptures, which can reveal the origins of the incantation that the cult regularly uses as a supposed blessing. Ming forwards the video of the Yunnan monk to Ronan, explaining the disciple's origins and the incantation's meaning. Ming tells Ronan that he wouldn't send the repaired footage of the tunnel to her. He also becomes possessed and kills himself by smashing his head repeatedly against his computer, which forwards the video of the tunnel to Ronan. Ronan addresses the audience about what she found in the video of the Yunnan monk sent by Ming. In Ronan's words, the incantation Ho Ho Shi Yu Yi Si Se Wu Ma is an ancient religious blessing. The deity worshipped by their ancestors is called Dahi Mother Buddha. It's a malicious deity, and they have inherited bad karma from generation to generation. They must use incantations to receive blessings. 
she urges the audience to chant it collectively to save her daughter. Ronan takes Dodo back to the hospital, where she recites the incantation at her unresponsive daughter's bedside. At midnight, Dodo enters a trance and sleepwalks outside to a naked teenage girl with runes written all over her body lying unconscious. The girl turns out to be the same girl from the Chen clan, and she is also taken inside the hospital. When Ronan comes across the girl, she secretly cuts off her right ear with a plan brewing in her mind. Flashbacks reveal how the curse initially started when Ronin played the tunnel footage. In the footage, we see Dom and Yuan entering the cursed tunnel, observing a series of rituals designed to please the deity and maintain order and peace. The locals had placed multiple mirrors, among other things, inside the tunnel in order to trap the negative energy of Mother Buddha and contain the curse. Dom and Yuan desecrated the sacred place by moving items inside the tunnel, filming things they shouldn't see, and smashing some mirrors that contained the evil. When they reached the altar of the Mother Buddha, they found the face of the statue covered with a veil. They remove the veil and see the face, which is the heart of her power. Dom was then possessed and died after smashing his head. Deciding Dodo would be safe without her, Ronan takes all of Dodo's belongings to the foster home and makes a video for her in case she wakes up. Ronan writes runes all over her body and returns to the Forbidden Tunnel, where she recites the incantation and offers the ear as a sacrifice. She requests the viewers recite the incantation with her and confesses that she had been lying to the viewer all along. It is revealed that the priest in Yunnan had told her earlier while she was pregnant that the Mother Buddha is in fact a malevolent entity. Once you submit your name with the incantation, you agree to spread the curse instead of conveying blessings. Reciting the incantation sacrifices oneself to the curse. When more people chant the incantation, the curse gets spread out. But in the process, it dilutes the curse and lightens the burden on those bearing it. The source of the curse is the Mother Buddha's face, which has to be covered. Ronan now reaches the altar inside the tunnel and asks the viewer for their name before revealing the Mother Buddha's wormhole-like face on camera. By tricking people into watching the tunnel video, Ronan hopes she could dilute the curse enough to lessen it for Dodo. She is then possessed and smashes her own head repeatedly on the altar. The film ends with a clip of a now happy and healthy Dodo, implying that the burden of her curse has been shared with everyone who watches the film. She can now lead a normal life because it has been diluted enough that she no longer feels ill. Incantation centers around a mother's unconditional love and eternal dedication toward her child. It also depicts the lengths a mother would go to to protect her child while also delving deeply into the psychological and emotional impact of motherhood. Thematically, the film also explores the mistakes of the past and the resultant haunting repercussions in the present. Blending elements of mysterious local cults and eerie rituals of Taiwanese folklore, the film establishes the extent to which bad decisions can affect people in the future. Despite the warning from members of the Chen clan, Dom and Yuan desecrated the Forbidden Tunnel and incurred the curse of Mother Buddha instantly. Ronin is bombarded by the aftermath of the past when she reunites with her daughter. She not only loses her life in the process of lifting the curse for her daughter, but also claims innumerable strangers in the cycle of the curse while resolving her karmic debt.